Hello and welcome! Silrace here with day 15 of the Nostalgia Month and we're again playing a... Well, I think I'm holding on to that. Scouting Hyena could be workable. Anyway, we are playing a mirror matchup again, which is not really surprising considering uh, how popular this particular class has become after the, well... Well, new cards being put in and all that stuff. So, we'll see. Next turn, if there is no counterplay to that, I'm gonna coin out the Animal Companion, I believe. Yeah, we will do just that. Uh, turn 4 is the multi-shot turn, so let's see, what do we get here? Oh, okay, well, we got me shot. Misha is obviously doesn't really give a damn about multi-shot. Well, at least not so much. But see, let's see if there is an explosive trap here. <laughs> hum hum hum. Hunter's Mark. All right. What do you have in addition? Unleash. All right. That allows you to clear the board. That's just peachy, but that's Unleash gone this early in the game and I'm okay with that. I'm pretty okay with that. I have a buzzard and an unleash of my own, which is kinda nice and nifty. Only thing is that I cannot kill that thing. Let's see, what do we draw here? Ah, another Misha. Mm, I quite like that. Next turn, I guess, with this strangled on tiger time. Ew. Alright. That kills Misha. Mm -hmm. I guess we will bust your broth and kill that thing. Because. Ew. Even better. I'm not going to. Yep. Even better. Even better draw, let's put it that way. With a kill command to be able to uh, get rid of a taunt. Well, and if he wants to trade creatures, he can tra trade creatures. Okay, so an appointment. Then that means he probably trades creatures. No, didn't. Interesting. Very interesting play. Let's put it that way. Do I want to kill Savannah Hyman here? Because, well... Do I or do I not? That is a really good question. Actually, I can probably kill it. Then I, uh, that means I could uh, drop uh, Buzzard and Unleash next turn. So let's do that. <sighs> Gives him an easy kill with the two twos on uh, my stuff. But I guess uh, that's okay. Hmm. Thunder Rhino could be another possible play. So you have an Unleash to follow that up with? I'll assume so because you're dropping Buzzard. <laughs> Scavenging Hyena, alright. Definitely means Buzzard Unleash next turn for me. Oh my god. That is a lot of damage I'm gonna take this turn. Oh well. That probably also means I'm dead next turn. Unless I happen to draw some answers here, which could help. Oh! Double scavenging hyena, even. Houndmaster. Cannot play Houndmaster this turn. Second buzzard. Alright. Well, I cannot play buzzard right now, because first I need to kill some stuff. You need to get rid of that. So let's do it. Hmm? Get rid of that. Then let's kill that. Afterwards, I suppose we will just smack the raid leader dead. And then kill this thing. And go face for one damage. Hmm. Now I'm hoping at least one of my beasts survives so I can play Houndmaster next turn for a uh, taunt. 
Because I don't have nine mana to play Thunder Rhino into Houndmaster. Although I obviously can play something silly like Young Dragon Hawk into Houndmaster without much of an issue. And I can probably also drop a Snake Trap with a Buzzard. We'll see, we'll see how that develops out. Hmm. Curious game though, with the uh, really early unleash play by opponent and then putting a board full of stuff. Which is also kinda interesting. So that means you probably trade? Get rid of that? Okay. That's fine and nifty. Oh, wait, what? It's gonna go for the face. Alright. That means there's probably a snipe in the play, hmm? Probably so. Uh, or then a freezing trap. That's the other choice. A freezing trap could do as well. Okay. What do we uh, uh, test with? A Timberwolf. Alright, let's test with a Timberwolf. What is it? Okay. So it is an explosive trap then, huh? An explosive trap. Okay. Never mind. Hookie! Game 2 of day 15 is against the mage. And I really don't want a starving buzzard on opening hand, nor do I want steak trap. Let's leave the bestial wrath out as well. Because all of that stuff dies way too easily to the freaking mage. Hmm. Yeah, well. This is not such an awesome matchup for this particular deck. Uh. I could play Hyena as a turn 2 play, just to maybe possibly counter another turn 2 thing, but I suppose I'll just skip it here. Uh, this guy becomes a 4, alright, it just gets killed by that, it's not really worth it. Do I wanna sacrifice scavenging Hyena to the uh, gods here? No. Let's, uh, let's skip it for now. Let's keep it in the hand for the moment and see what happens. Because essentially it would either be killed by the fairy dragon, or rather, the fairy dragon would attack me, and then I would have to trade into the fairy dragon to remove it. So there is that. Okay, that gives me a turn 6 play. I'm just gonna hound master that, this thing up next turn. Although if he keeps playing lots of little things like that, I might uh, might do an uh, unleash here, an early unleash. If there is even more uh, creatures on board. Whoa, no use for two mana. Interesting, very interesting. Should I animal companion here? And I could coin out something. I could essentially kill the four two. Now let's play Houndmaster because it uses uh, the uh, mana efficiently here. We can equalize the damage on the heroes as well. And that uh, panther right now trades for uh, for the dragon and a fire blast. So let's do, do that indeed. Oh, a polymorph. Okay, good. That eats a polymorph. So it's not so high main who eats the polymorph then. That is very good. Also means it doesn't have enough mana to fire blast the one one, so has to kill it, or then I trade it for the novice engineer. That's also kind of nifty. And the nifty thing is that this thing is a beast. I can play scavenging hyena and then trade this. Oh, that's an interesting trade to do. Interesting. Okay. Oh my gosh, this would probably be the better play, but. I am so going to do this stuff, huh? Oh, it's a hopper. Cool. Let's see. Let's see. A Strangler Tiger would have been a good, really good play, but I just couldn't pass up the uh, opportunity to, you know, buff. Buff the dude up, huh? Guess that was kinda obvious. Kinda good. Way to uh, get some something out on the board. Next turn, probably seven a high main, just straight up. Well, you're fire blasting it. All right. 
Yeah, so I don't know how many it is. Then we are. Eh. It is turn seven. Do I wanna? Yeah, I wanna trade Hopper. Get two more damage in. And Savannah Hymen survives Flame Strike. So, yeah. Let's keep that in hand. Because otherwise, there could have been a Flame Strike followed by the uh, one dude attacking me. And, you know, empty board other than the 2 2 hyenas, which aren't quite so formidable opponents. So, I, I like. Oh, okay. There is the second polymorph. That is good, you know? That is kind of fine. Mm hmm. One of those things, eh? And then you fire blast that. That's alright. Because that buff my, buffs my hyena. Then we unleash our way through these things. To do some damage here. Now there is probably a flame strike, but that's okay, because I win next turn with kill command anyway. I mean, unless she heals somehow. Yep, there is the flame strike. Okay, right. well played. Okay, game three, another mirror matchup. This is turning out to be quite funky. Do I want to keep Timberwolf? I don't think I do. I would like to keep a young Dragonhawk, not, an, not a Timberwolf. Okay, at least I get a turn 3 play here. Which is pretty nice. No turn... Oh, I do get a turn 1 play. I'll definitely play that against the Hunter, because if this thing eats an Arcane Shot or some such, I am quite and entirely okay with that. And if it doesn't, it deals 2 damage to the damn face, right away, so that's fine. Hokey, your turn, my friend. <sighs> Obviously, uh, it's uh, unleashed the hound bait, like, really badly, because it just gets killed by anything, but, oh well. We'll see, what are you coining out? An animal company, okay, I have best of wrath. Whatever it ends up being, I can kill. The question is, do I want to? So I could best of wrath kill that, because then it would have traded for the coin as well. Yep, yeah, that seems like a reasonable course of action. Now it traded for the coin and hoffer. Well, with a card, obviously, and it's but it's still alive, so I have essentially a creature on board. That uh, did not... Uh, that used mana efficiently, but I don't have an efficient mana use for the next turn, unless I go Snake Trap into, you know, Hero Power. But, a uh, problem with that is obviously I want to play Snake Trap with something else. Oh, cool. He gets a second Hoffer. That is hilarious, to say the least. Let's see what we get draw here. Oh, cool. That works for me. Let's put down a second young dragon hawk here. That Leoc drop, man, that Leoc drop was good. It was pretty perfect. And I got, got to use my mana really efficiently as well. Unleash the Hounds is kind of strong here, although not on turn 4. Not on turn 4, uh, well, if you have Timberwolf follow-up, then it can work. Otherwise, it's pretty not good. It's probably a turn 5 play with a, you know, Starving Buzzard into Unleash to draw some cards, that sort of thing. I'll probably, I'm curious, do I have the balls to play the Tiger next turn? Because that's gonna be 3 Hounds then, and that means 3 cards as well. I would hope to draw a Starving Buzzard here myself. Oh, cool. So he plays a Starving Buzzard and a Stone Tusk board to kill my... My... Dragonhawk. That is really interesting. So you essentially sacrifice the Buzzard for the uh, greater good. There. Well, got one card draw out of it. So... 
I guess I guess it works out. I mean, essentially they traded a, the one one charge for a pretty good with a pretty good trade to be all out honest. Obviously you want Timberwolf with it to really make it worthwhile or even something bigger. But something along those lines. Unleash. Alright, so you're gonna buff that up, huh? It allows trading away the uh, little thing here. Which is nice and nifty. Let's see, do I draw something to... Ew. I drew my own, dude. Put down a jungle panther and let's clear the board here. So that allows me to have a board advantage and that is one unleash down. I have health advantage, I have board advantage, but I don't have a card advantage. I need starving buzzard. And unleash possibly. Possibly unleash. Uh, this snake trap is still in my hand though. So that should combo well with the starving buzzard. Once I draw it finally. I really need that drop. Mm -hmm. I am pretty wary of dropping the second jungle panther though. Until... Because the second unleash is gonna be uh, a bit annoying to deal with. Oh well. I could essentially trade my current panther for the uh, croc and then uh, play a new panther. But that might be a waste of a mini in essence, in all honesty. Okay, he kill commands it. Alright. Alright. Allows him to do that. Ew. That is a pretty nifty draw as well, so that means we are gonna definitely do this play here. Possibly should have dropped the second panther. Let's hold on to it for the moment. I wanna see what is coming up. And there's one kill command down as well, and this only leaves one minion on board for an unleashed starving buzzard play, so... Probably not worth it for the card draw, let's see. Tracking. All right, so seven a high main play, I guess. That would be really nasty against uh, for me as well to deal with because uh, right now I have nothing to kill it with. Hmm. <laughs> I'm hoping for a good drop here. Seven a high main of my own. Another kill command. No, a hunter's mark and a stone dusk bar or an arcane shot. A Tundra Rhino, alright. Okay, Tundra Rhino lives after doing that trade. That is highly annoying. That is very, very annoying. Oh well. Now I have an Unleash in hand. Hmm. I'm tempted, but I'm pretty tempted, I admit, I'm pretty tempted to unleash just to kill that one thing. So, does he drop an unleash here? No, he drops a grizzly. Alright. At least that gives... Oh my word. Second grizzly, but at least that gives me an unleash uh, board, essentially, here. So I'm gonna take a lot of damage this turn, and I really need card draw ability here. Or a taunt. A taunt would work. Give me Leok, please. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the Leok. Leok was pretty nice at this point in time. Actually, I might play Snake Trap as well. Uh, do I want to? No, I don't want to. Let's uh, clear his stuff up. Just leaves me Leok. Could have played the Snake Trap. Just to uh, get to some one, two ones right now with Leok uh, as well. So that would have been pretty nice. But I'm still hoping for a Starving Buzzard play. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and where are my big things? Those would be nice. It would be nice to get a Houndmaster as well. Hopefully stop the charge uh, rush here. Hmm. On both, there's one unleash down on me as well, and so forth. Ragnaros. No, an iron beacon. All right, all right. 
That hurts a little bit because Leox buff is gone. Oh my gosh. He had a hound master for it as well. That really, really sucks. Kill command is not overly good here. Hmm. Because I can't remove everything anyway. That I'll have to do anyways. So what do I kill? I could uh, get, just get rid of the taunt here. I could remove the one damage, but that one damage is probably gonna hit into Leok anyway, so he can draw a card with it. So let's uh, keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll have to play this thing just so I can I get some damage on board. I have to do that. One ones are not good by themselves in all honesty, but it's the only way I can, I might have a chance to win this here. Cause there's way too much damage on board at the moment. And I haven't drawn into my big damage dealer here. Nor have I actually gotten a starving buzzard either. To uh, maybe get that thing, so... Okay. That gives you a beast card, unfortunately. Probably something to uh, drop on board. Let's see, what do you get? Haunted Creeper, alright. All right. Hmm. That will probably do well to attack me in the face instead of uh, killing Leok. Because Leok doesn't buff the 1-1s uh, one anymore. Try to rush me down essentially. Yeah. Like so. And then use a hero power. That means uh, he's winning this race kind of harshly at the moment. Oh, that's so rough. Now that helps. Means I can get rid of that and go for the face with the whole um the whole setup essentially. Hmm. If he has kill command of him obviously dead right away. He basically needs three more damage from somewhere. And if he doesn't have it, he has to clear some of my board. Uh, essentially can't leave anything alive on my side of the board. Or then he needs taunt. One of the two things. Those things are not spiders, so yeah. Arcane shot to kill that. Max now. Alright. That is kinda awesome. I win. That was pretty close, huh? Well I like that. That was a good game. Really good game. Alright, game 4 against the Warlock, and there's going to be just 4 games this particular video because I'm a little bit pressed for time. Tempted to hold on to the Bastille Wrath uh, for a 1 drop. Yeah, let's do that. As it allows uh, clearing out some nasty things. <laughs> Houndmaster, alright. So turn 3 Animal Company and turn 4 Houndmaster. We will see if that holds because this is probably gonna be Zoo of some sort. I hate it when, uh, when a Warlock Zoo gets to go second with the coin because there's absolutely nothing I can do against it. And I guess I'm not drawing Unleash anytime soon, judging by these draws. I'm probably dead then. Oh my god, second one of those. Really? And a second Stranglethorn Tiger. This is just not gonna go well, is it? And it is a Hoffer. Well, we can trade away one of them things. Oh my word. Voidwalker, okay. That means, well, at least I can still kill Command that, um... That thing from behind the uh, Void Walker, so there is that at least. So let's do just that. 
Unleash the Hounds would have been really, really nice. But I guess that's too much to ask. Yeah, not much I can do with the hand and the, these two rows scavenging high enough. Uh, oh. I could play scavenging high enough with snake trap. That would probably give me something on board to hound master next turn. Uh, and possibly bestial wrath as well. So we will do just that. We will do just that. Hmm. And if he clears all this, that's also pretty nice for me to just delay the stuff up. Ah, right. Baron Rivendar. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the Naxxramas cards, which I do not have in this deck, because, well, this is a Nostalgia deck, so I, don't, I didn't bring any of that stuff over here at all. Just how it goes, huh? Houndmaster 1. Let's, uh... I could Bestial Wrath 1 to uh, kill the guy which buffs himself, so let's uh, do just that. And do I want to play Young Dragonhawk? Probably not, no, not yet. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Doom Guard. That, brought, that sealed the game pretty much. There's no way I can do anything with, uh, to a Doom Guard with this hand I have. Oh, he even cleared the board. Instead of going for a face. That at least gives me a little bit of hope here. Not much though, not much. So, uh... Just if I, if I had drawn, let's say, a, um... What the heck is that? Thunder Rhino, I would have had a chance here. Because then I could have used the Young Dragonhawk to clear the Doom Guard and the other stuff. But there is just no way I can win anymore. Actually, pretty much knew it from the opening hands. That uh, there is no way for me to win. Because I didn't have Unleash. I didn't get any of the, uh, any of the draws which allow me to win against Zoo with this particular deck. So... There is that. Okay, there is only four games in this particular video because I'm a bit pressed for time. Thank you, just give me a freaking well played. Like, really? You didn't deserve that win, in all honesty. You're playing Zool. No one deserves to win with Zool. You heard that from me, right?